Now we're gonna find out how much uh, something, uh, how much a mole weighs of something of a specific. See? Okay, so we're gonna use a periodic table, and that's why you picked the one up today. Uh, you all should have a periodic table. There it is. Uh, so make sure you take it out because we're gonna go through and we're gonna look and use the periodic table as a reference. Okay? <clears throat> the question states here, right? Use the periodic table to determine the molar mass of something. So now we're gonna use the molar mass. Okay, so if you look at the periodic table, and I tell you, okay, you see this number right here at the bottom? Was the atomic mass, also known as the average atomic mass. Now it will be known as the molar mass, okay? Because one mole, if I tell you one mole of aluminum, and I ask you the question, how much does it mass or weigh? You're gonna tell me that it's 26.982 grams. Yeah, so one mole of aluminum is equal to 26.982 grams. And if I ask you, well, what's one mole of nickel? Then you're gonna say, well, one mole of nickel weighs uh, 58.693 grams of nickel, okay? So the units now for molar mass are gonna be grams per mole. Okay, so from now on, that's what you're gonna be noticing. So now let's see if you pay attention on it. Should I ask? I heard Vic, If I tell you, Vic, you have hydrogen, see? The molar mass of hydrogen is one. We're just gonna uh, approximate it, one, yeah? And I tell you, I have five moles of hydrogen. How many grams of hydrogen do I have? Okay, ready? So, I have five grams. Oh, I'm not bad, like what you said before saying. Okay, <laughs> All right, so say we have, uh, remember, one mole of hydrogen is equal to one gram of hydrogen, see? If I have five moles of hydrogen, how many grams of hydrogen do I have? Five grams, very good, okay? So now let's move on over to beryllium, yeah? Beryllium is 9.012 grams for every one mole of beryllium. So if I tell you I have 27 grams of beryllium, how many moles of beryllium do I have? If I have 27 grams of beryllium, how many moles of beryllium do I have? Three. Three, very good. Three moles of beryllium, okay? Why? Because we have 27 uh, grams. Each mole of beryllium weighs nine grams. Uh -huh. So we're gonna divide 27, divide it by nine, and give us three moles. But if I told you this, if there are five moles of beryllium, how many grams of beryllium are there? Five. You would say nine times what? Five, five which is 45. 45. Okay. Chicago. All right, so now let's go right here. I just said one mole of oxygen. So we look at the periodic table. How many grams? Well, 16, you can approximate it to 16, or we can say 15.999, see? Either one. Now, say we have one mole of sodium. How many grams of sodium? So we look at the periodic table and it says what? Nine, nine grams, right? Now, we go to <coughs> carbon and it says 12.011 grams of carbon for every mole of carbon. We have two moles of carbon, so what's uh, what's the mass? 24, 0, 22. Very good. All right. One gram of hydrogen is equal to one mole of hydrogen. I have three moles of hydrogen. How many grams? Three. All right. We go on. And it says one mole of agua one mole of water molecules. How many grams? Huh? Very good. 18. How does she do that? 
She separated hydrogen and oxygen. There's two atoms of hydrogen and there's one atom of oxygen. The mass of hydrogen is what? One. The mass of oxygen, we can approximate it to what? 16. We multiply across, two times one is two. 16 times one is 16. We add those two and what do we get? 18 grams. We. Oui. All right, so we go down. One mole of apples equals how many apples? No. All right, mijo. One mole of apples equals how many apples? 6.02. Times 10 to the what? 23rd. 6.02 times 10 to the 23 peanuts equals how many moles of peanuts? <coughs> One. Very good. <coughs> One mole of people equals how many people? <laughs> 16 grams of oxygen are how many moles of oxygen? <coughs> One I have six. Very good. One. Because I have 16 grams, so we look at the mass of oxygen. And if you look at the mass of oxygen, it's what? 16. So it's telling you that for every mole of oxygen, you have 16 grams of oxygen. So if you have 16 grams of oxygen and they ask you for the number of moles, you divide 16 divided by 16 and you should get 1. All right. One mole of lithium equals how many grams of lithium? Very good. 6.94. Uh, 941 friends. <laughs>